Oh, hi. I'm Doc Lucky Meisenheimer, and I have the Guinness World Records largest yo-yo collection with over 4,500 yo-yos in my collection. And if you like yo-yos, shortly I'm going to tell you how you can set your own Guinness World Record. But first, I'm going to show you some very cool yo-yos out of my collection. I have yo-yos that are big, and I have some that are small. Here's one that is skinny, and this one doesn't even look like a yo-yo at all. I have yo-yos that whistle and make sounds, even have yo-yos that shoot out laser beams when they go around. Okay, okay, I'll stop with the rhyming. But in my defense, I was holding a cat in the hat yo-yo, and the force overwhelmed me. And speaking of cat in the hat, if you have a favorite cartoon character, it almost certainly can be found on a yo-yo. There are also souvenir yo-yos. and all kinds of advertising yo-yos. Some ad yo-yos even look like the product that they're advertising. Now here's an interesting yo-yo advertising the book The Immune, which won this year's International Book Awards for Science Fiction. It was written by a guy named Doc Lucky Meisenheimer. Strange coincidence or shameless plug? You decide. There are yo-yos that blow bubbles, some that light on fire, now kids, don't do this at home. There are even yo-yos that make ice cream. And believe it or not, there are yo-yos that mix drinks. I even have a zombie hunting yo-yo used by Doc Ruger of the Zombie Cause. You can find out more about Doc Ruger and his zombie hunting yo-yo and the Zombie Cause dictionary at zombiecause.com. I don't know about you, but I think Doc Ruger is a pretty handsome looking dude. And since I'm doing shameless plugs, I'll just let you know I wrote the book Lucky's Collector's Guide to 20th Century Yo-Yos. Shouldn't it be on your bookshelf? But back to more fun stuff in my collection. I have figurines that yo-yo. Mr. Bandalore is a six foot tall statue made of 603 yo-yos and he lights up. He used to moonwalk, but he had hip surgery and that ended that. And every home should have a yo-yo curtain, don't you think? And for those of you that believe you're too smart for yo-yos, then you need to check out Lucky's periodic table of yo-yos, which is far better than the original. So enough blathering about the stuff that I have in my collection. What you want to find out is how you can set your own world record in one of the yo-yo categories. So what you might want to do is go out and collect thousands of yo-yos and beat my record. But you might find that it's easier to do something else, like, say, build the world's largest yo-yo. Well, this isn't it. It used to be the Guinness World Records largest yo-yo. It's only six feet in diameter and weighs 820 pounds. To get the current record, you're going to have to have a yo-yo bigger than 11 feet 6 inches in diameter. And oh, by the way, you better have a crane, because it has to work. And if that doesn't work out for you, maybe you could do the most yo-yo tricks in a minute. It's held by Hans van Dan Elzen, and it's just 51. I get finger cramps when I get to about 10. Maybe you could do the most inside loops in one minute. The record is 151 held by Aaron Sparks. If you are more of an endurance type athlete, then you could go for the most loops in an hour, 8,457 held by Fast Eddie McDonald. If you're a pretty good runner, you could set the 100 meter record for running and yo-yoing at the same time at 13.9 seconds by Taro Yamashita. I think I'm going to stick to swimming. Here's an idea. You could submit the world's largest ball of yo-yo strings. Sorry, they don't count that one. I didn't say it was a good idea. You could try to be the fastest to knock a coin off of 15 people's ear. The record is a minute and 12 seconds by Hiroyuki Suzuki. Been there, done that. No, Too many losses. no, I'm not doing it again. And if you find you're lacking in yo-yo skills, where well, there is another record you could try. Just get together with 2,036 of your best friends and set the world record for the most people yo-yoing together at one time. Sign me up, too. Well, I hope this inspires you to go out and buy a yo-yo and practice 
and try to set a Guinness World Record in yo-yoing on your own. I'm Doc Lucky Meisenheimer, and you can find out more about me and other weird things at DocLucky.com.